Hello everyone, we're raring to go. Our venue for this game is the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Bournemouth taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations. And their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the contest begins. Solanke. He's protecting it effectively. Dominic Solanke. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? N'Golo Conte. Enzo Fernandez. Sterling, can they square the game? He's foiled them on his own. <laughs> and deciding to go short with this one. Silva, and that was a very fine read. And Golo Conte, and Lerma, Philip Billing, promising looking ball. Billing. Gives it a go! Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. Short corner favoured. Lerma. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Conte. N'Golo Conte. 
And the bar's not finding its target. Marcus Tavernier. Will he play it in? Soranke. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, half-time coming up shortly and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Oh, what an opportunity! Terrific save! Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Delivering it. It hasn't come to very much. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And we are going to have two additional minutes. He's in behind. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea, who now are level. Well, as you can see again, Sterling plays the perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders. And what a powerful finish from Havertz. He just makes it look so easy. What a good goal. And the referee blows the whistle. The first half is in the history books here at the Vitality. Not to be too blunt about it, Stuart, but this has been a struggle for him up front. Yeah, their passing hasn't been great, but he just hasn't done enough to receive the ball in dangerous areas. He needs to be doing more in and around that penalty box. And the match is underway. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. And that pass could be troublesome. Chilwell. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Smith. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. there to intercept so half an hour remaining Sterling on to Chilwell oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack well doesn't have to do it on his own Conte can they take the lead what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal well here's the goal again and it's a really nice ball to put him through the vision to set up the chance is outstanding but you do have to ask questions of the keeper could he have done better here I think so you can't be beaten at your near post like that
And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Tavernier. Into the final 20 minutes. Moving into the advanced position. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And Sterling has it. What an important piece of defending. Dominic Solanke. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. And a textbook interception. And keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. And the substitution will occur now. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question, are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been close, but I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game. They've just not created enough clear-cut chances. There's still time, though. They just need to get the ball into the danger area. Smith. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Progress made by Chelsea, and at this late stage, a goal could be decisive. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90 minutes. And now they get the ball rolling. 